Broadmoor at Marvin. We have been waiting for this one from the new player in town, which is Beachwood Carolinas. Our old friend Richard Teeth has been selling over in the Weddington area and there's still something available there. But this is the brand new shiny thing right across Waxhaw Marvin Road from Providence Downs South and right across Stacy Howie Road from those Jones Homes USA large acre, you know, multi-million dollar homes. Well, guys, this brings it back down to a little bit of reality. And I will, in fact, be walking you through these lots. But let's start talking about some of their plans at Broadmoor at Marvin and uh, just take a peek and see what might be available even at this particular moment. I was going to start from about 1.6 million and go down to 1.2. But uh, the sequence shows that this particular river birch is right in the middle at 1.275. Now that's one of the elevations. Uh, may not be the exact one, but just to give you a feel for the floor plan, uh, basically you come in three car garage and you come off this beautiful covered, little bit of a wraparound porch on this particular elevation, the American farmhouse. And then you come in and you've got a bedroom off to the front with, yeah, it's a guest suite. You have a full bath there. Got a home office right here off to the left. That's convenient if you know if you work from home, you're a CPA or a, an attorney, and you've got clients, they don't have to go all the way up into your house. Uh, then you come into the kitchen area, you've got that beautiful kitchen dining room space going out to the gathering room, and then the primary suite is tucked away off to the back. Then you go upstairs, and uh, this particular one has uh, 1,800 plus square feet up, 2,600 square feet plus down, 4,455 is the square footage roughly on this. Uh, now, when they say total under roof, they're not talking about total heated living area. As a realtor in the MLS, we, you know, we deal with heated living area, not with uh, anything that's under roof like a porch. Upstairs, you've got these three bedrooms laid out really nicely uh, coming up from here. And it's just a lot of function and form in that river birch. Here is the craftsman elevation of the river birch as well. And now the next elevation, uh, which is a very gorgeous English farmhouse, this is the poplar plan. And they have one of these priced right about 1.32, right in there, million. And the elevation uh, is a similar elevation, looks very much like this. Uh, the English farmhouse. Isn't that good looking? So so what Beachwood uh, Carolinas has brought to the table, of course, Beachwood Carolinas is the our local Carolinas branch, but Beachwood is active in other states as well, up and down the uh, eastern seaboard. But what's here, by the way, these are large lots. This is a 0.71 acre lot. And uh, this one has uh, basically, mostly, most of all these are five bedroom, four bath. This also has a powder room. But this is good looking. I didn't show you the the actual lots. Let's go back and just do that. The very first one that I told you about was that river birch and it's on lot 36. Now home sites do matter. Uh, lot 36 is an interior lot and it's there's your front and it's got a larger space because of the way it's shaped. That was the very first one. And that one again is priced about 1.276 right in there. Now the one that we're talking about now is on lot number 38, which is right here. Again, nothing real unusual about this particular lot. It's 0.71, whereas the very first one was more like, I uh, lost it here, was more like 0.70. So it's configured a little bit differently. All right, you can see 35 versus 38. So now let's go back and just talk about this plan, uh, this particular poplar in the English farmhouse tradition. Again, five bedrooms, four bass. The primary is up on that one, uh, whereas the primary was down on the first one. So guys, a lot of moving parts. By the way, this is one of the reasons you need a good buyer agent. I just want to give you a peek into Broadmoor at Marvin. What you really want to do is call me at 704-345-3400, or you could go to rogerholloway.com and sign up, sign in. But I want to connect you with a buyer agent. Do not reach out to any builder without a buyer agent's name and a firm's name in your pocket because they're willing to pay us our fee but only if you come in strong at the beginning with your buyer agent. This three car garage is very, very cool, but you come in this covered porch and again, a home office off to the side, generous, got a powder room there. Again, if you entertaining clients at the front, uh, you've got everything Uncle John needs right up here. Come up here, stairway goes up, gathering room, 
Uh, there's a covered patio lanai, again, kitchen, gathering, dining, all everything that you need right there. Then you go upstairs and you've got the primary bedroom up. You've got an unfinished attic, which takes, you know, answers a lot of things for storage. And there's a bedroom with a bath and the primary suite with a large bath and uh, plenty of walk-in closet space. So there you have it. That's a good looking house. And got to, by the way, guys, they have not built anything yet. Even over in Weddington, they're moving a lot of dirt. They're selling a lot of product. I mean, the locations are really kind of phenomenal and ridiculous, right? I mean, where did they get this land? This is good stuff. And so um, let's just kind of keep moving on. That poplar plan, again, on a, a different elevation is right there. And I'm looking to see if there is a poplar with a different elevation for sale. But just to keep you up to loop, uh, in the loop on some of these plans and the way that they configure a little bit differently per elevation. Now, this is my favorite. This is the Oregon, because I'm an old guy, right? That looks like a ranch home to me. And really, this Oregon plan, um, I'm looking forward to here in my book, the one that they have looks different. The one that's uh, listed on lot 35, but this is my elevation right here. And, and so it looks completely different because it looks like it's got a two-story here and uh, it's a cool bank of windows here. But let's just go and look at the floor plan because, you know, you can have the same floor plan with different elevations. So this is that, uh, uh, that Oregon with the Craftsman elevation. The one that they're showing is different in the MLS on 0.83 acres, lot 35. But this is great, guys, because, again, your primary suite is down. And even here, with that primary suite down, covered lanai, gathering room, kitchen, and dining, you've got plenty of room up here in front for this, basically, another bedroom, bath, guest suite combo. And then upstairs uh, in the spec, which is on lot 35, 0.83 acres, bedroom, bedroom, and then uh, bonus room. So you, there's a lot to love about this. Let's go back and look and see where lot 30, 30 mm, 35 is. Did I hit two with lot 35? No, I'm making it up as I go along. You can tell, can't you? Lot 36, lot 38 were the first two I showed you, 36, 38. And there's 35. Okay, that's the one I was talking about earlier. That's larger, 0 0.83. That's the Oregon plan with a different elevation. Good looking stuff. Now, let's see if I can find it here. All right, guys, there's that poplar plan. Now, uh, here's the Oregon uh, elevation. Here's the Oregon plan we just talked about. And then this magnolia, wow. This magnolia, there's one on lot 22, and there's one on lot 37, and the elevations are slightly different. Contemporary romantic is what they're calling this one. Oh, wow. Look at that. Four bedroom, three and a half bath. And this very much looks like the one that they've spec'd out on lot number 22. And the floor plan looks something like this. Silo garage, you come in the front door, got a home office off to the right. Now, that's if it's right-handed. It could be left-handed, meaning that, you know, it's flipped. But we're going by what we have in front of us. Come in, stairway goes up, primary suite in the back and yes all this on that side wow dining room kitchen gathering everybody wants that open space covered lanai laundry room and then you go up and what you got when you go up well you've got a finished bonus room up here man oh man you've got a bedroom 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 so obviously you'll put the kids up there primary suite down a lot of reasons to love that and that basic plan uh, is on lot 22 which is right over here kind of backs up not far from that pond there. They call it a seasonal wetland. Got to have place for the water to go. Everybody wants that. And that one on 22, because he had fans out to the back, that is 0.9 acres. Love it. Now, the one on lot 37, which is right here, again, between two houses, that's 0.7 acres. So, guys, give me a call, 704-345-3400, whether it's here or in Weddington. Broadmoor and Marvin, this is Beachwood Carolinas. I'll connect you to one of my buyer agent team. And what we'll do is we'll begin working on the deal. And then while we're working on the deal, uh, I can go shoot a video of a lot or a house under construction, depending on when you see this, depending on what's left, 
depending on what's uh, newly offered. And while my team member is out working on the deal, I can go shoot a video for you live with my boots on the ground to give you a really good feel for what the lot looks like, for what the drainage is, for is it wooded, is it not wooded, what trees remain after the uh, they cleared the lot for the building pad, et cetera, et cetera. A lot of moving parts. So that's how we work as a team. Got a, I'm a buyer agent, got a handful of buyer agents. Great team, 704-345-3400. Hit subscribe if you like the vibe, and I will see you in the next video.